Well, Australian research has found that a new drug could prolong survival for sufferers of advanced melanoma. The study is published in the medical journal The Lancet Today. It found that the drug shrank the tumours in 90% of cases in patients where the melanoma had spread to the brain. Lead co-author with the study, Dr Georgina Long, is an oncologist with the Westmead Hospital and Sydney University's Westmead Millennium Institute. She also works with the Melanoma Institute of Australia and she joins us now. Good morning, Dr Long. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. So can you tell us exactly what does this new treatment potentially mean for those patients whose melanoma has spread throughout the body? Well, up until now, uh, patients with melanoma that has spread to the brain, there were really no effective drug treatments or chemotherapies that treated that problem. And now we have a drug which showed considerable activity uh, in brain, uh, melanoma that had spread to the brain. It's a huge leap forward. In fact, it's a huge leap forward for cancer research in general because any cancer that has spread to the brain has been difficult to treat with drug therapies and chemotherapies up until now. So this is quite a significant uh, uh, research finding and uh, potentially uh, the implications for melanoma, of course, a huge problem in Australia in particular. Uh... You're exactly right. So just to put it in context, um, melanoma is Australia's cancer. We have one of the highest incidences of, can of melanoma in the world, along with New Zealand. There are 11,000 new cases of melanoma diagnosed each year. 1,200 people die of melanoma each year in Australia. That's more than those that die on the road. Uh, it, is, it disproportionately affects young people. It is the most common cancer in men aged 25 to 40. It is the most common cancer in women aged 15 to early 30s. It is a big problem. It is our cancer. We need to be doing something for it. And um, that's why we've been able to develop these drugs clinically uh, so well and be at the forefront. One of the things that's unique about Australia as well is uh, that we were really able to push this study uh, classically, people with cancers or melanomas that have spread to the brain are not included in clinical trials because they do so poorly. Just to give you an example, patients with melanoma that have spread to the brain, typically half of them die within the first four months. So they're not included in clinical trials because things haven't worked. Uh, rightly so, nothing's worked. And if you have a drug that works outside of the brain, you don't want to discard that drug. But now, uh, after our uh, lobbying to include this group of patients, uh, we can see that some drugs, particularly new drugs, targeted drugs, have this activity. It's, it's wonderful for patients. It's the first step towards making things better for patients. So are you able to, in relatively simple terms, <clears throat> explain how this new drug would work? So uh, first of all, it's an oral medication. It's a tablet. Um, the way it works is it only works in melanomas that have this specific genetic mutation. It's an abnormality in the melanoma. It's not in the person's normal cells. It's in the cancer melanoma cells. It is called a BRAF mutation. This drug specifically binds to those melanoma cancer cells where the abnormality is, to that abnormal BRAF mutant protein, and it stops the melanoma cells in its tracks. And that's what it does. It basically stops those cells from growing and proliferating, and it gives patients phenomenal relief of symptoms. Um, as an example, uh, one of the first patients on this study, this, the brain group of patients, she was a 23-year-old. Uh, she was very unwell when I met her. She was bed-bound just towards uh, the end of her life. She had weeks to live. Um, and with this uh, oral medication, she had a full, good, strong 12 months, went back to studying her PhD, wrote two papers, contributed to the scientific community, well, history, she was a PhD in history, travelled overseas, uh, had some quality time with her family and friends. And that means so much to people, particularly, you know, people who want to keep doing things and contribute. Uh, another gentleman uh, is still on the drug three years later. Uh, when I first met him, he'd stopped working, he'd stopped participating in his hobbies, had stopped surfing. He's now working full time, surfs, uh, participates in life fully. So it is a fantastic leap forward for cancer patients, but moreover, it's a great step forward for research in melanoma in general, and it's something we now can build upon.
So in terms of building upon this, what are the next steps? Is it something that's going to be available uh, anytime soon? Um, in terms of availability, that really is up to uh, putting in the papers for registration. That has nothing to do with us. It's to do with the company that actually developed the molecule, and I would hope that that, that starts to happen very soon. But as with all things, we need to be very scientific. We need to be objective. We need to provide the registration bodies with all the good evidence that it works, and that will take place. Uh, I'm confident of that. But the, the other thing about it is, although we've made a huge leap forward, finally after 40 years we have things that are active, we need to do better. And so we need to be doing more studies and we are of combining really active targeted drugs like this BRAF inhibitor, Debrafenib, uh, with other drugs to see if we can even prolong the efficacy, the, the effect uh, for longer. So although we have taken people and provided them with good quality sort of uh, uh, many, many months than they would have had, um, we need to be able to make this a chronic disease. Well, thank you very much for your time this morning and uh, congratulations on making it this far already. Oh, thank it's you. It's a great relief. For, I, uh, I just have to say it is a team effort um, and all the people at Westmead Hospital and Melanoma Institute of Australia have really contributed to this. It's not done with only a few people. It's a big team effort. So thank you. Thank you very much. Dr Long. Thanks.